<laughs> Hello, hey, 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 hey. Hello, everybody. My name is Keeb. Um, I'm a polyglot, and I'm back with another video. Video. Uh, I'm back with another video. Um, I've been in Mexico for the past like month, so that's why I haven't made a video. But this video is going to be on um, culture shocks that I witnessed, that I lived through while I was in Mexico. Um, for reference, I was in Tijuana for like two weeks in total, two and a half weeks in total with my friend. And we also did a road trip to Sinaloa. We stayed in Constancia, Sinaloa, which is a rancho, and which is kind of near Los Mochis. We were in Los Mochis for a second. We went to Mazatlan, went through Culiacan. So yes, uh, right here, I have a list of some culture shocks that I freaking, that I went through. And I thought they were important to talk about, you know, if you ever want to go to Mexico, just so you know. So the first culture shock that I want to talk about is the retenes, basically the checkpoints. Literally, they have authorization to do almost anything. Like they, they took out all of our, all of our luggage. We have to put it through security. They were checking, they ch checking our luggage. They checked us. They checked the whole car. They had this dude, I think it was like, it's like the FBI of Mexico. I think it's called the FGR, something like that. They had their own personal dude, literally checked every single crevice of her car and then checked us as well. Um, but they don't really check the women. So like if you go in a car with like all women, they'll probably be chilling. Um, another one is the, the quota highways. So here in California, we don't have very many highways that you pay for, you know, to get to other places quickly. Like in Florida, they have a bunch of those highways, but in California, we don't. I just felt like in Mexico, there was a lot of them. Like you can always um, find a faster way to get around the city. If you're not gonna go in the city, if you don't wanna go through the city, you can always find a highway that's gonna take you around, but you have to pay. The thing about that, I felt like it was actually pretty expensive. Like more than 50, more than 50, um, more than 50 pesos. Some of them are like a hundred pesos, I felt like, and that's like a meal. But in Florida, like $3 or less than that, $5. $5 at the max, I feel like. Um, another thing that I noticed are hazard lights. Okay, so people use hazard lights to alert like danger ahead or like if there's a un desvio, ya sabes. If there's freaking cones ahead, people will put on their hazard lights. The people behind them will know and then we'll put on our hazard lights. So the people behind us will know that there's some, there's some caution. You guys need to slow down. Another culture shock is the fact that you can bribe the cops. I mean, probably shouldn't be saying that, you know, but you can bribe the cops. We were, we were running like, like eight in a car, right? And we we're going through Los Mochis and we were going to pass a reten because there was freaking police. And we're like, oh, bro, does anybody have any candy or any, or any like sabritas chips to give the cops? And in my head, I was like, these cops are not going to take no freaking chips. But they were serious about that. They were gonna give the, the cops chips. Um, also, like if you get caught with weed, like someone, someone did, you know. I don't know, who. but if you get caught with weed, you can give you can give them money and they'll let you off. Um, for example, someone I don't know who, someone got caught. <laughs> hey, stop laughing. Someone got caught with a pipe, and there's a little bit of weed in there, and they have to pay, I think like a thousand pesos. And that's like a thousand pesos. That's at least 10, that's like 10 meals. That's a lot. And like, we should not have been paying. We should not have been wasting that money, you know? Another thing, but I just want to leave, I'm thirsty. Okay, then leave, leave, leave. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, bribery, yeah. Just hand up some money so y'all can get through. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, another thing that I noticed, passing lane. When you're on the highway, the inner lane is for exclusively for passing. So like, if you're not accelerating and trying to pass someone, you shouldn't be in that inside lane. You know what I mean? You should be on, on the right side. So that inside lane is specifically for passing. Usually the highways, highways are only two lanes. 
So one lane for chilling, other lane for passing. Um, and you have to have your your blink thrown while you're passing, while you're in the passing lane. Um, another thing is the water guy. There's a truck that always that's passing in front of houses, blasting music. Um, he has like a bunch of gallons of water on there. Cause you know, that's just the thing. They sell water and get water people. Another thing, um, the fact that everyone knows everyone, especially in Constancia and the ranch that we were in. Um, it's just, it's really rude for you. If you guys make eye contact, it's really rude for you to, to not say hi, to not say buenas tardes, buenos días, buenas noches, yes, hi. Because in the U.S., if you make eye contact, a lot of the time we make eye contact, but, ooh, you know, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to talk to strangers, but everyone knows everyone. You need to be talking to people. And if you don't, that is rude. Uh, pew, pew, pew. Another thing, while in Constancia, the sicarios, los narcos, they are in charge. Okay, they are the police. So you're probably gonna be, you're probably gonna be seeing them around, you know. Um, but if if you don't do anything, they won't hurt you. You know what I'm saying? At least that's that's how it is in Sinaloa, because they don't want no problems. And they're usually rolling around in like nice trucks, like Ford trucks. So like, whenever we saw a Ford truck, a really nice Ford truck, we we're like. Mm, that's probably someone that's probably someone but like the family i was staying with i was staying with my friend's family um they had they've had encounters with with the with the narcos like it's normal like it's normal we just behave um another thing is the lack of electricity and water so like every once in a while the lights may turn off you know you, you know what i'm saying and you don't know when it's gonna turn back on same with the water um, so like there were times where I would have to, you had to take cold showers cause there's no gas. There was time where I had to take showers with, uh, with a bucket, with a bucket of water. There was times where like the water went out and we didn't have any water and we couldn't take showers. Uh, pew, pew, pew. Another thing, spicy foods. I already knew that in Mexico we, they eat spicy food. Yeah, whatever. There's just such a variety of salsas, even for seafood. Open. She has to hide her identity. Oh. So. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, a, a spicy food. Yeah, yeah. Variety of salsas, even for the for the mariscos. That too, I did not realize Mexicans eat so many freaking seafood, so much freaking seafood at first. Yes, seafood, 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 mariscos, mariscos. Um, they also have, this is my first time trying chitapines. First time, those are like, they're like dry little balls basically, yeah. And you crush them up and you put them on whatever. And I don't really like them, like I like spicy, but I don't, I don't, I don't like dry spicy, if you know what I mean. Um... Another thing, everyone wears chanclas. Everyone has a pair of chanclas. So in the house, everyone's wearing chanclas. Uh, another thing, the bus is used a lot. The bus is used a lot. Um, here in the US, we don't really use the public transportation that much because our transportation system is garbage. But um, people use the bus because not everyone has cars. Um, we use the bus to get from Constancia to Mazatlan. It was like a five hour, six hour ordeal. We stopped in Culiacan. For like 30 minutes um another thing is oh since not everyone has a cars like the stereotype is real they do they will fit everybody in the in the goddamn car everyone at one point we had like nine people in a car and i was not having fun but no seriously there's like nine people in the car there's one two three there's a driver and then there's two in the passenger seat and then that's three people right Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five people in the back. There is me, a child on me, someone else, and then someone else, and then a child on that person. So we 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 fit everybody in the car every time. Another thing, paying for public restrooms. You don't have to pay for every public restroom that you find, but just bring some pesos just in case, because they might ask you for like ten pesos for you to use the bathroom. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, pew, pew, pew. everyone has a pair of sunglasses 
and a nice hat. And I don't wear hats because my hair, because you know, you know, no, no. But I was wearing hats out there and sunglasses, because the 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 sun is a outrageous, outrageous, outrageous. Pew, pew. Another thing. Every well, not everyone, but like college shirts are very. Están de moda allá en México. Everyone wears, not everyone, but the men, they wear college shirts in like the club and the antros. Yeah, college shirts. College shirts if you want to look snazzy and Mexican. Um, <laughs> another thing, because we got, we got a couple more. Bear with me, please. A couple more. Um, reusable plastic bottles. So you know those big Coke bottles that we have here in the U.S.? They also, they have another one. It's probably a little bit bigger, but it's for it's reusable you go back and they will refill it up with coke um same thing with same thing with kawamas do not throw away your kawamas don't throw away those bottles because you can go back and they can fill them up um same with the huge ass huge the huge carts of i think it one two three four five of 25 the carts of 25 the box of 25 packs of beers you do put them back and they they can re refill those up with beer too uh, another thing, burning trash. Okay, so I was on a little walk. Even even on the side of the high, highway, you see like just smoke and sometimes you see like little fires. Like I thought it was a fire. I was like, yo, bro, there's a fire. What are we gonna do? And they're like, no, no, no. They're just burning trash because the trash man does not come to the rancho. Because why would they, you know? They're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, another thing, do not flush toilet paper because the plumbing system isn't the best. So you wipe your booty and you put it in the trash can. Another thing, ah, tinted windows. I didn't realize this, but tinted windows are actually are illegal in Mexico. I'm pretty sure it's because of the Los Narcos, you know, all that stuff. They probably have tinted windows, but they're legal. So they can stop. They can pull you over for that. Um, but they didn't pull us over because, you know. They know, because if you have a California license plate, they know you're coming from California, you know, so whatever. Um, and the last thing I have on my list is the fact that the army, the um, ejército, they'd literally be roaming around in their big trucks with like six men on the back with huge, huge ass guns. Huge ass guns. It's like, damn, chill, bro. I'm not doing anything. And then I guess the last, last thing is more of like a reverse culture shock. Like it was a culture shock for them when they saw me in their country. I got a lot of stares because I'm a whole ass Negro and and they want to touch my hair because it's cool apparently. You see that, you see that? Yeah, they're like, oh my gosh, is your hair natural? Yes, my hair is natural, I'm just a Negro. But yeah, so that's all the culture shocks I think I have. Yeah, those are all the culture shocks for this video. Um, if you have any, any culture shocks in, while you were in Mexico, put it in the comments below. Or if you have any culture shocks from being Mexican and or being anywhere in the world and coming to the U.S., let me know as well. Because I have some friends that um, also had culture shocks when they came to the U.S. So maybe maybe I can make a video with them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked the video. And I will see you, see you guys next time. What do you want to say? Oh, wait. I have more stuff to say as well. But what do you want to say? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Ah, yeah. arre, arre, arre. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Wait, 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 wait. But the last, last, last thing is that I'm an EF Tour ambassador. Ambassador for EF Ultimate Break, which is a tour company. Um, there's basically, there's a bunch of tours for all over the world. They just came out with like 20, 25 new tours. And one of them is to Mexico. Um, so if you guys do want to go to Mexico, I will leave the link in, I will leave the link below and you guys should check it out. Cause right now they're on sale. So this is like the best time for you to get it. Right, right, right. So the trip is to Mexico, uh, the South of Mexico. I haven't been there yet. I do want to go there. And then it also takes takes you to Belize as well. So a lot of beaches, a lot of dancing, a lot of beautiful scenes. So check that out. I'm your favorite EF ambassador. See you later.